Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. Make sure to stick to the end of the problem where I have three bonus problems that are similar to this one, which you guys can try to solve. All right, so I have five to the power of x plus two is equal to four to the power of x. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the ln on both sides or natural log. So now I have ln five to the power of x plus two is equal to ln four to the power of x. Now, if I have something in the form ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this x one and b to the front. So this is gonna equal b times ln a. So for ln five to the power of x plus two, I can move x plus two to the front. So that's gonna equal x plus two times ln five, which is equal to for ln four to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So it's gonna be x times ln four. Now, if I distribute ln5 with x plus 2, I get x times ln5 plus 2 times ln5 is equal to x times ln4. Now, I'm going to subtract both sides by, LN, by x times ln4. So now I have x times ln5 minus x times ln4 plus 2 times ln5 is equal to 0. Now, if I subtract two times ln five on both sides. These two cancel out. Now I'm left with x times ln five minus x times ln four is equal to negative two times ln five. So now if I factor out x from x times ln five minus x times ln four, I get x times ln five minus ln four is equal to negative two times ln five. Now, if I have something in the form ln a minus ln b, this is the same thing as ln a over b. So ln five minus ln four, that's gonna equal, ln five over four. So I have this is equal to negative two times ln five. Now I can move this negative two to the front of the five. So now I have x times ln five over four is equal to ln five to the power of negative two. Now five to the power of negative two, that's the same thing as one over 25. So now this is equal to ln one over 25. Now, if I divide both sides by ln 5 over 4, these two cancel out, and now I'm left with x is equal to ln 1 over 25 over ln 5 over 4. So this is my answer. All right, so I have x to the power of x to the power of 6 is equal to 144. So I want to find the value of x. So to start, I'm going to take the power of 6 on both sides. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m times n. And m and n, these two are interchangeable, meaning this is the same thing as a to the power of n times m. So now, if a to the power of m times n is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n, then a to the power of n times m, this has to equal a to the power of n to the power of m. So in simpler terms, a to the power of m to the power of n is equal to a to the power of n to the power of m. So in this case, we have x to the power of x to the power of six to the power of six. We can think of x to the power of six as m and six as n. So now we can switch these two places. So now we have x to the power of six to the power of x to the power of six. 
Now this is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now I'm going to let x to the power of 6 equal the variable y. So now I have y to the power of y is equal to 144 to the power of 6. Now 144, this is the same thing as 12 to the power of 2. So now I have 12 to the power of 2 to the power of 6. And remember, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 2 times 6 is 12. So I have y to the power of y is equal to 12 to the power of 12. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of a is equal to b to the power of b, this means that a is equal to b. So in this case, y is equal to 12. However, remember, we're not solving for y, we're solving for x. And x to the power of 6 equals y. So now that we know that y is 12, this means that x to the power of 6 is equal to 12. So now, to solve this, I'm going to take the power of 1 over 6 on both sides. So now I have x to the power of 6 to the power of 1 over 6 is equal to 12 to the power of 1 over 6. Now 6 times 1, of, 1 over 6, these two cancel out. So now I'm left with x is equal to 12 to the power of 1 over 6. So this is my answer. All right, so I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 1. Now 20 here, we can rewrite this as 10 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 1. Now if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, this is the same thing as a to the power of m to the power of n. So 2 to the power of 10 times 2, that's going to equal 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2, and I have this minus 1. So now 1 here, this is the same thing as 1 squared. And if I have something in the form a squared minus b squared, this is equal to a plus b times a minus b. So in this case, a is equal to 2 to the power of 10, and b is equal to 1. So I have 2 to the power of 10 plus 1 times 2 to the power of 10 minus 1. Now, 2 to the power of 10, this is equal to 1024. So now I have 1024 plus 1 times 1024 minus 1. 1024 plus 1, that's going to be equal to 1025. And 1024 minus 1, that's equal to 1023. So now I'm left with 1025 times 1023. So now, let's go ahead and evaluate this. Well, first off, 1,025, to make this simpler, we can rewrite this as 1,000 plus 25. And 1,023, we can rewrite this as 1,000 plus 23. So now we have 1,000 plus 25 times 1,000 plus 23. So to solve this, I'm going to start by distributing the 1,000. So now I have 1,000 squared plus 23 times 1,000, plus 25 times 1,000, plus 25 times 23. So now 1,000 squared, that's going to equal 1 million, plus 23 times 1,000 is 23,000, 25 times 1,000 is 25,000, and 25 times 23, that's going to be 575. So now if you add all of these together, you get 1,048,575. So this is my answer.